is beneficial for us all. It's a cost effective system, but primarily it's to increase our safety and get the guys home. We were basically spending all of the premium and more and we needed to do something about it. I was given the remit to start looking at what we could do to reduce incidents, uh, reduce damage to vehicles, etc. And the risk element there was, was enormous. And there wasn't anything on the market that we'd seen that was driver behavior. So it was first and foremost was re reduction of risk. Um, we were one of the first companies to be accredited to the FORS scheme in London, the Transport for London FORS is freight operator recognition scheme. And part of that accreditation was a free trial of Green Road. Um, so we put it into 18 vehicles down in the, an operation in the southwest of the UK and ran it for six months um, and compared the results to the previous six months and the comparative six months uh, the year before. And so we got seasonal changes and what have you. And we saw a 14% reduction in fuel efficiency. During that time, we had two incidents reported both minor. We report all incidents, irregardless of how, how severe or how, how minor they are, compared to 18 in the previous six months. So that gave us a, a perfect kind of endorsement to put out a business proposal. Uh, and that's when we went out to tender. Uh, and Green Road uh, obviously won the tender. And we installed across the entire fleet in the UK and Ireland saw the results on then the return on investment within eight, eight months, which was part of the programme. The reduction of risk was paramount. The fact that we could also have the security element as well, obviously meant that we'd got the two wins. Prior to our partnership with, with Green Road, we were circa about 850 incidents reported in the UK and Ireland, uh, which was a significant number. Um, our premiums with our insurers were, were getting higher year on year. Year to date, we're trending at the moment to reduce again. So figures suggest we will be around about the 70 incident mark. When we presented what we got to customers during tenders or annual reviews, they were very impressed as well. One of the things that we, we introduced was a uh, Last year was a World Cup uh, for all the countries that had got Green Road. So I compiled that and it's based on scores, based on idling scores, based on driver score, individual scores. And that provokes a little bit of competition as well. By default, Brazil and Spain were the top two countries, as you would expect. It's how quickly they, they can get, get engaged. They want to do better because prior to that installation, I include them on the communications about the KPIs and the World Cup and the Champions League. So they see what they've got to try and attain and aspire to. I mean, obviously technology inside vehicles has advanced and it's advancing at a, at a rapid level um, with various gizmos, but you've still got that human element that drives the vehicle. But if you get the driver behavioral bit correct, there's a direct correlation between a safer driver and a fuel efficient driver. They drive now on a more sedate uh, approach. They're looking at the road ahead. They're predicting the traffic lights. They're predicting kind of hazard perception, et cetera, et cetera. So that has become their immediate style of driving. Other vehicles aren't driving into us as much as they were, which would suggest our driver's hazard perception and their driving style and their standards has improved that their hazard perception now reduces that risk. The management like it. It's a user-friendly system from a, a dashboard, from a detail, from reports, um, from bespoke reports. And then the drivers actually quite like it because it's, it's, it's a change, um, but they feel as though the elements that it brings makes them feel a little bit more safer. It makes them feel a little bit more less stressed because they see the benefits about it. They enjoy using it 
from a safety perspective, those drivers, the road risk has been reduced significantly. So standard of service. On time delivery is obviously a, uh, a requirement. So that's, that's factored in. But also the whole demeanor and well-being of the driver. They feel better, they feel less pressurized in a high pressure situation of, of driving in, in a city. Predominantly between eight and 14% uh, fuel efficiency improvements, uh, depending on location, depending on country. Biggest areas I think were, were Brazil that were less part of 14% uh, reduction, um, but generally give or take the average is about 10%. The premiums with the insurance in those first five years, we reduced by 36% year on year. So it was a win-win, it's superb.